Right player is JJ Rockets. I'm just going to shorten that because I can't be bothered to type it all the way out. And left player is Xylus. My bad, guys. Totally forgot to update the scores to the set. Excuse me, did I say you were okay to go? You are, but... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to see JJ's Diddy versus Xylus's Wario. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before. I'm very excited. What I would imagine is that Diddy's range and priority combined would be enough to outdo Wario's short-ranged walls. But we'll, we'd have to see. Wario's also very good at gimping and very good at recovering. And Diddy very susceptible to gimping. Yeah, cat's attacks. The far venues is a plague on all of us. All of us in the suburbs, or just not being in Chicago. But we do see JJ taking a lead. He ate the peanut. <laughs> he ate the peanut for that 1%. Okay, JJ almost doubling Xylus' percent. If you understand that. That, was, that could have been misinterpreted. It looks like Xylus isn't sure in what scenarios Chomp is good, but he seems to be holding his own against who, the player who I think is rated 3 in the power rankings right now, so good stuff on him. Uh, mm, rage... I think a rage forward throw from Wario could do it? But I'm not sure. Wario's forward throw is really strong. Ooh, getting tr tripped up, slipped up with that banana. He chomps the bu he chomps the bike in his opponent's face. He's like, "Yo, let me just finish my meal real quick." JJ not respecting it. It's rude. But Xylus does have the waft now, so we'll see if he can seal out the stock and then pull out some waft shenanigans later. That's like half the game with Wario's waft shenanigans. JJ not giving him any chances to set anything up though. <laughs> okay, there's Wario's recovery again. I understand Xylus wanting to chomp the bike for mm, wanting to chop the bike for that extra one or two percent back, but he needs to understand that sometimes the bike can be used for setups, and sometimes it's not worth the frames on the eating animation. Well, he chomped the bike the first time in JJ's face. I think that was an accident. But then he chomped the bike when JJ was recovering. So, I don't think that was an accident. I think that was just him trying to recover. All right, we're seeing game two on FD with the hype boss battle theme two music from Brawl. Shoutouts to Taboo. Much uh, more even start. Hopefully not jinxing it. I always want to see a Wario do well because nobody uses Wario. Yeah, this is definitely an even start. Ooh! Reading the shield, reading the landing shield, predicting the fair. Mm. Wario's tilt, a very strong, except for down tilt, but also very slow, also except for down tilt. Uh, there's that Wario recovery I was talking about. Wow. Uh, Cat's Attacks, we actually have a Samus player around here. Uh, he's not here this week, but Desert Vulpine uses Samus and Ganon. It's a very unique combination. But, as we see this, again, super even game. This is... Xylus has turned this around. Since he's definitely made an adjustment. You have a pop off in the background. JJ with the banana forward smash will seal it. Alright, he gets the extra hitbox with the with the turnaround. That's a very smart play. JJ gets the banana, gets some combos going. Ooh! 
That oh, was dirty. That was dirty in more than one way. You got some loft action, Rexland. Let me just put it that way. Ooh, is JJ taking it back? He's he's making an adjustment to Silas's adjustment right now. But once again, half the game is Wario's waft. So if this game can last long enough for Silas to get another waft, anything is possible. The the most important thing for Wario players is to stay alive. Because if you get that waft, you always have a chance to come back. As, <laughs> as uh, JJ nets the forward smash to take the second stock. Xylus saying he's just wanted that stock. Oh, pff, my bad, Akira. <laughs> I forgot to update that. Yeah. 